Hello, uh, this is a follow-up video to my last video where I, I showed a CD player which was very kindly given to me by a friend of mine um, and it's a CD player that I'm going to use in a second system that I have in the house. I've got a, a budget system which I've uh, put together and that's going to be part of that. Um, the CD player is a, a Marantz a CD5400 original SE. Um, now what I know about the CD player, it, it's between 10 and 15 years old. Um, the original price would have been around about £200. So it's a decent amount of money to play to spend on a CD player. Um, so I thought what I'd do for now is I connect it to my main system and I've got it connected into my name amplifier. Um, to that I've got Re my Riga RX3 speakers connected to it. So yeah, I, I just wanted to try and uh, understand then what type of presentation then it that it was producing, playing some of the some CDs then that I'm very familiar with, and I always find this type of thing for me is very uh, is a useful exercise, and I've often you know try different products, uh, amplifiers or what, and uh, speakers and cables and cartridges and swap things around. And it's been useful in so much that over time I've been able to try and been able to understand then what what type of sound then and type of presentation then I prefer when I I'm listening to music. So again, this was an opportunity to try something different, and uh, I certainly have enjoyed playing uh, with it, uh, it over the last few days. And yeah, first of all. One thing to, to 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 that I noticed straight away is the loading mechanism. It's something that that it, it, it is quite different to what I'm using with my name CD five X. Um, now this system it has the, uh, the the CD draw, which I will just show here. Press a button there, the CD draw comes out. I put the CD in. I press a button. And the CD draw goes back, and then you know I can play the CD. Um, now I am much more confident using the the method of loading a CD on my name CD five X because it's it's very manual. I open the draw manually. There's a pack that I take off. I put the CD in position, put the pack back on, and then close the draw, and then I can play the CD. And it it, it seems. It seems a lot more um, sort of robust and more durable than 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 this type of arrangement. But you know, this the what's on the Marantz here, that type of of um, of loading uh, arrangement. Then it is something which is um, very very sort of popular on sort of the budget end CD players. Um, so. But uh, I guess you know I'm I'm much more used to using this, so much more confident using the the, the CD five X to load and uh, CDs and remove CDs and so forth. I mean you know when you think of it, uh, I can't remember how much my my CD five X cost, but because uh, I bought it in like a a package and a, uh, with other th components and what have you, and uh, I added a, a you know at a, a good price, um, but it certainly I think. I don't know, possibly four or five times more expensive than, than this player would be. So, uh, but, you know, so how did it sound and what did I think? Well, straight away after playing just a few CDs and um, just to give an example of, of the type of things I was playing, then uh, we've got uh, Lou Reed Transformer, we've got... Uh, Bill Evans, the complete Village Vanguard recordings, nineteen sixty one. Um, Cooler Shaker K. We've got Pretenders, I Love You, and just you know, I played so much. It, it, the th thing that I noticed uh, after just playing a few tracks, then it, straight away, I was able to it, it, understand that that the type of sound it was producing was very 
very rich is that, that that warmth to the type to the sound which is something i really like um and it's i've sort of learned to 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 really enjoy because uh i was able to play cd after cd after cd um and uh it, it, i'm feeling very sort of relaxed listening to it because in comparison then to some sort of CD players that I've heard which provide a very forward presentation and that's not something I, I, I enjoy very much at all because I find that I, I don't, um, I'm not able to listen for long periods of time whereas this CD player I played CD after CD after CD for many hours and uh, uh, I didn't get tired of the, the presentation, so straight away there, it was definitely ticking the right box for me. Um, so, yeah, I was overall impressed. I mean, in comparison to, to my CD5X, uh, it, it didn't, uh, in terms of where it loses out, then it is overall resolution then um for instance in in some very busy passages of, of music then um for instance there we are cooler shaker k there's some sort of very uh, busy passages of music in, in sort of like the um, uh, on some of the tracks in the lower frequencies for instance and uh <coughs> It didn't quite resolve the detail uh, as well as what my CD5X can, but I didn't expect it to either, given the, the relative price and the relative um, <coughs> difference then in class of the two, two, two CD players. But uh, it certainly did uh, you know, surprise me and impress me given you know it's it's relevant price point really and i've i've noticed actually i've, I've looked around at uh, how much these players are to buy on on the second hand market and you know they can be bought for 25 to 50 pounds and so forth but um you know i was very lucky really that i was able to get one from somebody that i knew and i knew it had been looked after i knew it was in it was fully functional and indeed I, i've used it and uh it, 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 everything works on it really well it, it sort of fast forwards and rewinds uh, you know everything works um, really well with it so yeah it, it, another good exercise there and, and uh, do you know one thing I would really like to know and if, if anybody's got any any idea you know certainly add a comment it, it'd be interesting really to see um, to know if 15 years on, 10, 15 years on then from the time that this was was in production, have budget and CD players moved on in terms of their quality, in terms of um, their ability to provide, uh, you know, a good, a good listening experience? So are they, uh, so, you know, it is... 15 years on, 10, 15 years on from when this was done, the, C, the budget NCD players to, of today, how do they compare with those of years ago? So, you know, if I, I haven't had the opportunity to listen to any of sort of new budget end equipment today, but if anybody's got any sort of um, thoughts on that or anything that, that, that they know about, then certainly, you know, add a comment. I'd certainly be interested to know to know a little bit more about it so yeah that's it for now so um again thanks for watching the video and um i'm going off now to play uh, a few more cds so thanks again bye bye